Friends, in this video, we are going to see management of a very hard cataract. This is a cataracta nigra, a black cataract. This is the main incision with a steel keratome at around 11 o'clock on the posterior aspect of the limbus. This is a side port three clock hours away from the main incision on the left side. And now the anterior chamber is filled up with an air bubble. And now tripan blue dye is applied over the anterior capsule underneath this air bubble. This is bit of adrenaline. And now the dye is washed out with a 23 gauze Simcoe cannula. And then the anterior chamber is filled up with 2% hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose. And now is the time. This is enlargement of the main wound just by one cut. So the size of the main wound is about 2.9 millimeter now. And now capsular axis. We need to do a large axis. Capsular axis is being done with the help of this utrita forceps. size of the rexis should be about 5.5 to 5.75 millimeter in cases of hard cataracts. And now hydro dissection. A 27 gauss cannula is used attached to a 2 cc syringe filled up with PSS. So, hydrodissection has been done at multiple points, injecting small amounts of PSS. Now, the entry chamber is filled up. Now, I take two hooks and bimanually rotate the cataract. When we rotate the cataract bimanually in this way, the stress on the genule is very minimal. Some more visco again and now I enter into the anterior chamber with the FECO handpiece. This is easy tip of Oatly. The teeth has been exposed little more for this hard cataract some superficial cortical lens matter is removed and now submarine chop for this black cataract. I am using 90 percent ultrasonic energy in continuous mode, 95 percent, 95 percent ultrasonic energy in continuous mode. The tip goes through the substance of the nucleus towards the opposite equator in this it cracks the nucleus as it goes and now I rotate the nucleus 180 degree sculpt once or twice and then hold on hemonucleus with vacuum and the chopper is used to separate the two hemonuclei. And this is division of home on hemonucleus into two and then on fragment of this hemonucleus is subdivided into two smaller pieces and I start emulsifying these smaller pieces. And now I divide the other piece also into smaller pieces and emulsify. 
and now I rotate this semi nucleus. It is divided into two large fragment first and then each fragment is emulsified. This larger fragments can be subdivided into smaller fragments as and when necessary. For the emulsification of the last piece, the ultrasonic energy is reduced, flow rate and vacuum also reduced. From beginning till the third nuclear fragment, the ultrasonic energy was 95 percent, flow rate was 45 and vacuum was 450 millimeter of mercury. For the emulsification of the last piece, vacuum was 350, flow rate 35 and ultrasonic energy was reduced to 80 percent. I am using a 23 gauze Simco cannula to gently remove the cortex. See the cortex was firmly adherent to the posterior capsule. Since I rotated the nucleus several times, the cortical cleanup is has become easier. So cortical cleanup has been done and now I inject visco, fill up the anterior chamber and the capsular bag and then a single piece monofocal intraocular lens is implanted in the capsular bag. <clears throat> so, the lens has gone into the capsular bag and now it is dialed, the haptics are played, the haptics are placed uh, 90 degree away from the main wound so that I can go easily behind the lens and clean the visco. The Simco cannula is being used to irrigate the anterior chamber, irrigate the capsular bag. And after the Simco, I take bimanual irrigation aspiration cannula and again irrigate and aspirate in the anterior chamber as well as the capsular bag. Nowadays I usually make only one side port, so I take help of the main wound for irrigation. The trick is the anterior all of the main wound should be lifted gently so that the fluid leak from the main wound becomes less and it balances the aspiration. The side port is closed. Then a final lavage of the anterior chamber is done. Friends, this is a minimally edited video and you are not missing anything. The anterior chamber is formed but I find that the eyeball is still soft. So I take the irrigation cannula, clean the sideboard area and introduce on flow into the eye and then I check the intraocular pressure, it is firm now. Thank you very much for your attention, hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills. Be a great surgeon and serve your patients with love, respect, compassion and great surgical competence.